Takitari mwenyewe is a, is a creative director. Yeah. At not quiver. 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 Is if a, you shoot an arrow, yeah. it is not going to come back to you. I, I it's not a boomerang. It's not a boomerang. It's an arrow. But now, doc, yes. <laughs> tell tell us about more about this uh, amazing production that's going on. What is it? What's it as a synopsis and don't spoil it. <laughs> <laughs> so Kiri is a musical play. Yeah. Mm. So that means there's a lot of dancing, there's a lot of singing. Ah. There's a whole band that's that's actually part of the show. Yeah. And the story is, is it's, it surrounds a group of gangsters, actually they're bank robbers. Oh. Uh it's set in the 80s during the era of the famous bank robberies that were going on in mm-hmm. Kenya. Mm-hmm. So it follows a group of uh, bank robbers who um, made some decisions that had some very detrimental consequences. So one of the detrimental consequences is a certain uh, super cop by the name of Shaw inspired yeah. by the one and only Patrick Shaw. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, ruthlessly follows them. And the things that he does to execute justice is what is quite interesting about this play. Uh-huh. So it mm-hmm. pursues the theme of love. Kiri yeah. has a lot of love. It has, um, there's a lot of death. There's uh, a lot of happiness. There's a lot of sadness. It's a roller coaster and so a half. It's, it's a thriller. It's emotional. A thriller and emotional. <laughs> no, damn damn it. It. It's a thriller and a half. Uh, so, uh, how long did it take you to write this? Uh, um, so, from writing to staging, yeah. it's been six months. Jeez. Okay. Yeah, because some of the things were going um, uh, at this. Well, we were trying to run them concurrently. So, for mm. example, the music and the dance was being done at the same time. Mm. Yeah. But the script was out by uh, mid January. Okay, that's when the script was out. We did auditions then and immediately started our our rehearsals. Mm. So does yeah. everybody in this uh, Kiri musical play sing and dance? So was that like a, a <laughs> discrimination that you did? Because then, like, how would Martin be in this play? As a dancer, this is, this is the problem. This is the problem. <laughs> What was your criteria for selecting your so your cast? um uh, first things first when it comes to Quever, we like passionate people. Uh-huh. The Kiri would not be possible if it's not for passionate people because mm-hmm. we needed commitment because of the timelines that we we're working with. Yeah. So um uh, that was number one. Number two, we also wanted people we could work with, people who can accept that we might know something that they don't know. Mm. Where were ni boss? <laughs> That's it. Where <laughs> mini boss? But Accept at the same things. time, we wanted people who bring something to the table themselves. Okay. So we have uh, a very talented cast. Uh-huh. Um, one of the the, the notable uh, cast members that we have, we had Ricky Gadariki from uh, uh, one, one of Okali. Of course, yeah. Yeah, okay. one of the guys there. We yeah. have Foyi Wamboi, yes. also oh. part of the cast. Yes. Uh, we have uh, Ken T, um, uh, he's like the KNT, how do you call him? He's a household name in KNT, mm-hmm. Mr. Sam Ouma, mm-hmm. who's actually playing the role of Kiri. Yeah. So it's 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 an amazing cast. Mm-hmm. And then we have a crazy music director by the name of Melanie, uh, who's basically composed, written, and arranged all the music in this particular show. Wow. So it is, uh, yeah, Kiri, Brayburn Theatre this weekend, I'm telling you, it's fire. The, I don't know how best to describe so this, it. This, fire. this weekend is Friday, Saturday, and this Sunday. This weekend is Friday and Saturday. Uh-huh. So That's we're having twenty first fri- of yes. April and twenty second of, of April. April. Uh-huh. Okay. So on Friday at seven p.m. at Brayburn Theatre yeah. on Gitanga Road, yeah. and then on Saturday at six p.m. at Brayburn. Okay. Saturday. Are tickets available? Yeah. So even now, they are, they are available. Okay. So you can go to chapter. If you could, if you go to your page on Facebook on Instagram, you'll spell just spell it again. Uh, uh, Quever, that's K H W E V A. You can find us on Instagram, on Twitter, on on Facebook. We'll share that on our on our socials right now. All right, uh, so that people can start to buy their ticket. Um, the, you had a, a, a first weekend that just yes. that just passed. Yes. What was the most uh, memorable thing for you? Um, uh, the most memorable thing is uh, first of all the intermission. <laughs> <laughs> when the intermission hit, yes. um, guys were already. Um, n- n- I, I, I won't even say the anticipation for the for the for the, the second, second act, half, yeah. but also they were already wowed by the time we were at the intermission okay. because okay. of how it ends. Yes. It's 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 a very dramatic ending to, an, to 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 the first act, and on top of that, by the time they came out of the theater, the word that we kept on receiving, the statements we kept on getting is, Kiri needs to go beyond our borders. Wow. People oh, wow. beyond this country need to see this. Because it's about time people realize that, yo, uh, as Kenya, we have a lot of quality stuff that yeah. you can offer yeah. in theater. And for sure, if 
if you're not convinced, just come for kids. You'll see for yourself. That is just the message. Come for kids. So Friday, yeah. what time again? Friday, 7 p.m. Mm-hmm. and Saturday, 6 p.m. at Brayburn Theater. This is, is on Gitanga Road. How much okay. are the tickets? The tickets, advanced tickets are currently running at 1,800 yeah. and the gate tickets will be 2,500. 2,500. Yes. Okay. And we can buy advanced tickets off your... Yes, if you go to our Instagram page or Facebook page, there's a link there. You'll get the tickets from there. Fantastic. Yeah. Loving it. Ladies and gentlemen, Kiri. <laughs> but I guess it's it's also good to sort of shine a light. You know, last month we were talking about the Kalasha film and television market yeah. and putting content together out there that is yeah. that is Kenyan. And I like that you're doing it at theater. I think theater for me was my first love. Why is this the medium you've chosen to, to use? Um, uh, so uh, for anyone who's ever stepped onto theater, you know that it's the most organic art form. In the sense that you, it's like what Kipchoge is doing right now. Mm. You only do it once. You only mm. get this one opportunity to mm. do it and do it well. Mm. So you go through a whole period of preparation, getting ready, but it all boils down to like two hours. And in those two hours, you have to display the work that you've put in. And that's theater. And I feel that that in itself creates a certain uh, level of commitment from the cast that you're always dealing with. And on top of that, there's a way in which film try to mimic reality mm. as much as they can. Mm. But in theater, you offer up yourself. You're mm. not trying to copy anything. It's just you who's being on stage. And that also translates in the stories that you tell. So theater is quite unique. And plus, as children, we all did uh, chamamas and Chama. did all. Yeah, exactly. So theater reminds us that we can once in a while just turn off everything and be part of a story. Because yeah. it's not just what's up on stage, but it's also the audience itself. What yeah. would you tell the government? Government. Or county governments especially. Yeah. Because uh, uh, I think guys, national mm. government is doing enough. Co- county governments, what would you tell them? How do you want them to support you? as an art creative artist yeah uh, as a, pro- a producer of and writer of this and o- of course all the and, and all the production so first thing is to realize that the narrative around theater and the creative arts needs to change mm. the creative arts has a very huge potential yeah. in number one retaining our history mm. this is the only way we get to pass the stories that we've we've had before and the mm. culture that we have if you look outside um indians have the bollywood yeah. and and in the west they have the hollywood and all that we need to create our own stuff also and on top of that the creative ha- arts creates a, a, a new opportunity for tourism because yeah. I've had the privilege of watching Hamilton mm. and the time I went to watch it I met foreigners coming traveling five years later after its production to mm. just go watch the show this is where where do you go this is in uh, in London London oh. <laughs> Oh, UK. <laughs> it moved. Yeah? It, yeah. It, was, it was going. It was that's the way Kiri is going to move on. Yeah. Yes. I so see. that's the dream for Kiri. Yeah. So that the government realizes that, yo, this creative arts is actually a product that can be exported. Yeah. So that's, that's, that's what the county government needs to come in as stakeholders and just create that platform for us to get it out there. Because yeah. we can't do it on our own. Yeah. Yeah. 